Hi, everybody. I'm excited to share with you some ideas today that are literally going to help you grow your business. My goal is to help you be more successful, have more free time when you want to, and, and make more money, which is what we're all in this for, isn't it? I'm going to share some of those ideas with you. My name is Darren Adams, and I'm with a company called Key, and we are designed simply to help small businesses succeed. I have spoken in almost all the continents around the world, spoken with thousands of entrepreneurs and small business owners to find out from them what their struggles are and how they're successful and how they make more money and grow their business. So I want to share that with you today in what I call the top 10 ways to win more business. So the top 10, based on the top 10 struggles that most people have and then how they overcome that to grow their business. So we're going to walk through some of that. As I mentioned, I'm with a company called Keep. Keep used to be called Infusionsoft. So for many years, about 20 years, and maybe many of you have heard of Infusionsoft, it was the premier tool that people used to help grow their business, to help do automation and follow up and autoresponders and drip on people and all that nurture marketing that we, we invented all that technology. And it was a very robust tool as Infusionsoft. But a couple of years ago, they said, we want to make something that's easier and simpler. It has better tools that more people can use. Not, not everybody needs affiliate tracking and all these uh, e-commerce tools and stuff, but they just really need some tools to help them be organized and do the follow-up and do the automation. And so Keep was born. In fact, Keep was so successful, the company, the entire company was renamed Keep because this is really the future of where we're going. So I'm going to share with you some ideas about Keep, how Keep might be able to help you, but also some of the things that we have learned as a company through Keep on how people can be more successful. So ready for the top 10? Top 10 ways to win more money. It's going to start with the struggle. Here's the struggle. First of all, every business in the entire world struggles to get new leads. Every business constantly. Every day is a new day. Every day you got to get more leads. If you don't have new leads coming in, you don't have new business coming in. Every business, whether you're General Mills, General Motors, General Foods, General whatever else there is, whether you're Apple or IBM, every single one of those businesses has got to constantly be getting new leads. So you're no different. You're like every other business out there. So what are you doing to get those new leads? Because of that, lesson number one is leads have a half-life of three days. As much as we like to think we get someone like, oh, here's a lead. This is someone that we can follow up with and, and I'll reach out to them in a, in a couple weeks or a couple days. A half-life is, is a certain period of time, and in this case, about three days, where that lead is worth half of what it was, like a radioactive isotope. It, instead of radioactive, I like to think of it as a tossed salad. This, maybe it's because I'm a foodie instead. So this salad is worth something today. Today, that salad would be great. Everybody would say, yeah, I love that salad. That salad would be great, and I want to eat that salad. Three days from now, what's that salad looking like? It's not looking that good in three days. The, the lettuce is starting to get wilty. The tomatoes starting to get mushy. Not as many people want that salad in three days. That's the exact same thing that happens with your lead. You get someone today and they're saying, oh, I'd love to do business with you. Let's, let's follow up and do that. I got, a, I got a course that I can offer and we can partner on this. Or oh, I'd love to be able to talk to you about your coaching program, whatever it might be. But in three days, they've forgotten about you. They've forgotten what you can do. You've forgotten about them and what they can do. And so that salad and that lead is not worth as much in three days as it is today. So the secret that you have to have, you've got to be able to automate your lead capture. You've got to be able to have some tools in place to automatically capture those people. That lead doesn't do you much good in three days. So you've got to jump on it while you can before it starts wilting and de deteriorating. So this is literally the top of my desk. These are literally business cards. People hand me a business card. They say, oh, we should do business. And it's a great lead. Every single one of you have leads like this. I, I literally met a woman who, she said, yeah, my dining room table has, is, has stacks all over it with little stacks of business cards. <laughs> That's not what dining room tables are built for. Dining room tables are built for having dining experiences and gathering together and playing games and eating food and having a good time. They're not for taking over for your stacks of business cards. Every single one of you, I would be willing to bet, has a stack of business cards somewhere that someone's given you some cards and they said, hey, let's do something. And you, sit, you sort of put it in the back burner and you don't get to it. So you've got to be able to move on that quickly. You're going to love this. You're absolutely going to love this. This is a game changer right here. This is one way you can do this inside of Keep. But you've got to, whatever you're doing, you've got to have some way to automate that lead capture quickly. The top button, this is something you just pull up on your phone. 
the top button, you can easily import contacts from your phone. You got hundreds of people on your phone, just click on the ones, import them in. The bottom one, manually enter, you just hand someone your phone, they can enter their contact information. They think they're entering it in your phone. You're really, they're really entering it into your database. The best one is the one in the middle. That's the snap a photo of a business card to add a contact. This is how simple this is. You know that stack of business cards you got, whether it's on your dining room table or on your desktop or wherever it might be, in all the pockets of all the clothes you've ever worn to events? You literally take out a business card, you hold up the phone, and you take a picture of it, just like this. And within seconds, the software goes in, the app goes in, and it reads all the information. And amazingly and accurately, it fills in all the information, the name, the email, the phone number, all that stuff, instantly creates a contact record. So you just take a picture, you push a button. It's literally as easy as pushing a button. You just click the button, it reads the information, and creates a contact record and even says, okay, what kind of category is this person? Is this person a lead or a client? How do we categorize them so that we're gonna be able to follow up with them in the right way? And boom, boom, presto change up. There you go. You got a contact and for a record created. Even at the top, it tells you it's a client. Bobby, this is Bobby's contact information. This is me reading it on my phone. If I wanna pull it up on my laptop, there it is right there. So I have a contact record created instantly in a matter of seconds. So every time you get a business card, you've got to have some way to automate that lead capture so that you can capture it easily and instantly and put it in your, in your database. So it doesn't start deteriorating after three days. Okay, next problem. Your free time should be called burning money time. You're like, I like free time. You said we're trying to get free time. I am trying to get you free time. But the problem is if you have nine to five and you say, I'm working from nine to five, that's my working time, whatever this is, it's some time you've allocated to be working. And you come along and there's a two hour block in there that's free. That's not a good thing. That's time you were hoping to build your business. That's, hoping, that's time you were hoping to have some income producing activities, rev, ge generating some kind of revenue so that you have money. And all of a sudden you have this block where you're not doing anything. That is burning money time. You don't want that. If you've allocated time to be working and you have free time, that is a bad thing. So lesson number two, the faster you schedule something, the sooner something will happen. You've gotta have some kind of tool to get things on your calendar as fast as you can. So the second way to win more business, the first way was to automate your follow-up. The second way is to have some kind of scheduling tool. A calendaring tool. Maybe you've heard of a tool like uh, Calendly or Schedule Once, tools like that where you can automatically schedule people. That's built into Keep as well. Let me show you how this might work. You have a calendar, blank calendar, and we sync up with Google and Outlook. So if you have items over here on your Google calendar, guess what? Those are going to auto populate on your calendar. So you say, I'm going to work from nine to five today. First of all, move over my Google things or my Outlook appointments. And now you've got, okay, I've got these Outlook, th these portions here and I can work in this, this area right here. Now you want to get people on your calendar. You want to fill that time because once you can schedule something, that's when something starts to happen. The sooner you schedule something, the sooner something's going to happen. So down there in the bottom left corner, this is my favorite thing. I'm going to say that a lot. There are a lot of things about this that are my favorite things. There's a free 30 minute marketing button. You can create whatever you want, 15 minute intro call, an hour consultation, whatever. You can create a bunch of those little links. They're just simple links, buttons that you're going to push to send your calendar to someone. Because up until this point, you're like, okay, when are you, when are you free? Uh, I'm free Thursday, what about you? No, I'm, I'm kind of free Thursday. I'm not free Thursday, I have a Thursday afternoon. Oh no, I'm, you spend 20 minutes trying to figure out when you can hop on a call with 10 for 10 minutes. So all you do is you push that button that sends someone your calendar. And now they see when you're free. You booked out certain portions of time on different days. And oh, I know I've got a dentist appointment for the kids here. And I know I'm going to be doing some coaching here, whatever. And so here's what's left. They can see when you're free. And they just pick uh, 2.30. How about 2.30? That works for me. They click on that, fill out a form, put them in your database. So you've got them contact. You've got them uh, captured that way. And then sends them an email saying, thanks so much. It's all confirmed. Thanks for scheduling. That's how simple it was. It was simply pushing a button and the calendar went out. That's how easy it was. And then we want to make sure that they show up. So we, a, a reminder goes out, hey, you got an appointment coming. It saves you time on the front end because now you're gonna get them on your calendar faster. And it saves you time because they actually show up for the appointment and you're like, oh, I can't do anything because I'm, I'm supposed to be having a call here. The person isn't picking up. Saving you time on both ends there, trying to make things as easy and efficient for you as we can. And you can take that calendar, 
You can embed it on your website. You can embed it on a landing page. You can put it wherever you need to. So you don't even have to go to the work of pushing a button on the phone or on your laptop. Not like that's a lot of work, but you can just let people access it from your website or a landing page so they can schedule themselves without you even being involved at all. Okay, here's the third struggle I found. If you're running a sloppy business, you're not profitable. And you know as well as I do that there are always areas of our business where we're a little bit sloppy. Some of you are more sloppy in more areas than others. But you know there's some areas you can like tune things up and get a little more organized, be a little more streamlined. And the more organized and streamlined you get, the more profitable you're going to get. There's a, there's a direct correlation. And when you're not when you're sloppy, you're not making money. So lesson number three, you got to become the Marie Kondo of your business. I don't know if you know who Marie Kondo is. She's like an organizational guru. She has a TV show. She's got a bunch of books out. She shows everybody how to get everything in the right place. My wife is a huge fan of Marie Kondo. We had to change our dish towels in the kitchen. So when you open the dish towel drawer, you can see the dish towels differently. It doesn't change the dish towels. It just changes how they're organized and how you can have access to them. My wife got all excited. And she gets excited about some things. One thing she really gets excited about, ribbon. We literally have buckets of ribbon. We have bags of ribbon. We have boxes of ribbon. Ribbon was taken over the place. And so I said, honey, for your birthday, I'm going to build you a ribbon shelf. Four feet across, five shelves, plenty, 20 feet of linear ribbon space. Who could need more than that? Plenty of, she got all excited. She's like, oh, our son just moved out of the house. I'm taking over his room, his bedroom. I'm going to turn it into a wrapping room. Because we all have a wrapping room, right? I'll let you know, we've had the wrapping room for about a year now. I think four presents have been wrapped in there in the whole course of that time. It, it's not so much a wrapping room as it is this. It's an organizational room. When my wife walks in there in the morning, Everything is in its right spot. She feels organized when she goes in. She starts every day just walking in and, and sitting in her desk. And like there's the wrapping paper, there's the greeting cards, there's the baker's twine and the scissors. Everything's in its, its right spot. So she feels organized. She knows she can accomplish more during the day. This is exactly what your business needs to be like. Everything needs to be organized. My wife doesn't have a business doing any of this. She just does this to feel organized for the day. So if you don't feel organized at the beginning of the day, you need to be doing something differently. And as she sits there in the desk, guess what she stares at? The ribbon shelf. You need a black and white polka dot ribbon? You know exactly where to find it. So on the black and white shelf, there's the polka dots right there. Every person that you know, any contact you have, you need to be able to know immediately how you can get to them, how you can serve them. Are they a, are they a lead? Are they a client? If someone mentions a name to you, you need to be able to go and be able to find that person and find all the information. So the third way to win more business is you have to have a CRM, which is a client relationship management tool, a customer relationship management tool. That's what a CRM is. And you need to have one. That will help you stay organized so you're running a tight business. You're running things that are not sloppy and you're going to become more profitable that way. If you don't have a CRM, let me show you what one should look like. You can see the colored dots over on the side. This is a keep CRM, so it looks a little bit better than most CRMs. Uh, you can see almost like different shelves of ribbon. There are my leads and my clients and my invoice, my paid, everything's in the right spot. If I want to see who are my ribbons on my lead shelf, I just click on the lead button and it shows me all of the people who are my leads instantly. And you can find those. You get, you get a new roll of ribbon? Oh, I got a new roll of ribbon here. But let me add, a, manually add a roll of ribbon. Manually add a contact. I fill out the information. Uh, this person, I'm going to stick them on the invoiced shelf. Click the little button there. And then that roll of ribbon automatically goes to the invoiced shelf and, and gets placed there. You want to be able to know how to move people forward. These are what we call nudges. The little blue buttons are software going in and saying, hey, if you want to know how to move this person, move them along, get them to progress, how about book an initial consultation, send them an email, do whatever. Those are some brilliant nudges. Let me show you, this is the contact record. Inside your CRM, every single person, everyone, whether they're a client or just a lead or whatever they might be, everybody has a contact record. And all of the information they need to know about that person is right there in one spot. Let's click on the, this is for Jack. This is the contact record for Jack. And you can see the activity button there that's highlighted. This will just show you the latest activity. Have you sent an email? Have you made a call? It'll track all your activity. The next button over is details. When you click on that, it pulls up all the information about Jack, his name, his email, his address, phone number, whatever you need to know is all gonna be there at a glance. 
how many how many times do you say, oh, I got that phone number somewhere. Is it in my phone? Is it on a list over here? Is it on, on a post-it note back here? You're trying to find, you don't have to worry about that. Everything is all going to be in one spot, easy to get, contact record for each person. You want to see the email for that person? You click on the email button. So maybe you were in Keep and you sent a one-off email to Jack. That's going to be there. Maybe there was an automation campaign that kicked in. A series of emails went out to Jack. That'll be in there. Maybe you were in Gmail or Outlook and you sent an email. Remember, we sync with Gmail, with Google and Outlook. So guess what? That was, oh, sorry, I got ahead of myself. That will be in there as well. All of your email, your details, your activity, you track all of that. Track your money, your invoices. This is all the information. This tracks your history, your, your relationship with that person. If you know the relationship, if you know the history, then you know how you can serve them. You know how you can make more money. So this is your money-making tool. Every single one of you has to have a CRM. The next challenge that I discovered, there's nothing worse than talking to someone who doesn't know you, but they have all the answers. You know one of those people, they, they come up to you, they know a little bit about you, and they say, you know what your problem is? I'm like, like I, I know my problem. Why do you think you know what my problem is? They don't know anything, but I'll, you know what your problem is. Let me tell you what your problem is. And they don't know much about that. Guess what? You're sometimes that person. You're the person who says, do you know what your problem is? As if you know it. And you do that when you send emails out to people or communicate to people, but you treat everybody like they're the same. So lesson number four, it's good to know your people, all the people in your list and your database, but it's better to know what they want. And you can do that through being able to tag them and segment. Who are my repeat customers? My repeat customers, I'm gonna say, thank you so much for your support. Thank you much for your business. I have, some, I have a 20% discount for you for that. Or the people, you don't know me, we've never done business together, but I have, I, have a, I have a special offer for you so you can get to know how great we are. I got a 20% discount for you. It's the same thing you're offering both people, but you're phrasing it differently because you're not coming in and saying, you know what your problem? No, instead you're saying, I know you and I'm just, talking to my repeat customers and here's what I can do for you. I know you, I'm talking to people I've never met before and I'm giving them a message. Who are my people who know about marketing opportunities? Maybe they have affiliate tracking or they can sell my products or service or who are my people who know about speaking opportunities so I can get on stages or whatever that might be. Those are different groups and so you've got to be able to do list segmentation. You've got to be able to break down that list. You have a thousand people on your list or however many, whether it's 10 or 10,000, however many people you are, they are not all the same list. They are different segments. They're repeat customers or new people. They're marketing people or speaking opera, whatever they might be. They're men or they're women. They're old, they're young, they live here, they live there. They come to an event, they have, I don't know what it is, but you've got to be able to break your list down. The more you can segment your list, the more you can really personally communicate with people. I've got emails from people where I'm thinking like, they sent this email to everybody on their list. And I'm pretty sure they did. And then I've gotten emails that feel like, Wow, is this one just for me? Is, is this person sending this email specifically to me because they know what I've done, they know what I want, they know what I need, they know me. And the more you can segment your list, the more you can personally communicate with people and be one of those emails or communications that people like to get and welcome and read and keep. You have to be able to do list segmentation. We talked inside of Keep. This is the database. The bottom of the screen there says you need custom fields. We've got you covered. You can have up to 100 custom fields. Where do they live? How old are they? Have they been to an event or bought a book or whatever it might be? So you now are able to segment your list inside of your CRM. Okay, the next struggle that people have, you can't make money if you can't ask for the business. This happens when we don't communicate with people and, and we don't let them know what we're doing and what we need and how we can serve them. And we just sort of assume sometimes that people know what we're doing and how we can serve them and how we can help them. But if you can't let people know that, you're not making money. So lesson number five is invisible businesses get robbed every single day. Invisible businesses get robbed every day. And you're like, wait, what's an invisible business? I don't get what an invisible... If you're not staying top of mind with people, if you're not reaching out to people, if you're not letting them know who you are and how you can help them, you are becoming an invisible business. And do you know who's robbing you? Your competition 
who is staying visible. If you're not sending out emails and staying in touch with people, your competition is. And so then when someone says, oh, I need a new life coach. Oh, I need to buy a program that helped me lose weight. Oh, I need to have help raising my kids. Oh, I need to buy a book, whatever it might be. Oh, I got an email from, and they think of the most visible business they can and sometimes forget you because you have become invisible. So one of the ways to win more business is simply sending email updates, staying in touch with people. I was on a panel discussion a couple months ago over in the UK and everyone else on the panel, they were asking them, how often should you email? And they all said, email every day. Like email every day? I'm even the email guy. I don't even know if I would tell people to email every day. And I'm not telling you have to email every day. But these guys said, you post on social media every day. You're trying to stay top of mind. How's that any different? You watch TV on Hulu. You see the same exact commercials every single day. Those people understand you've got to stay top of mind. That's the same equivalent of sending an email update. The, the beautiful thing is emails are completely free, so you don't have to worry about that. You can send emails. You don't have to buy a commercial on Hulu. But you've got to stay in touch and let people know what's going on. You've got to stay visible so that you aren't getting robbed every single day. Okay, the next struggle and challenge, work-life balance shouldn't cheat you out of opportunities. I, I understand the pain here because I know, as you do, the statistics for small businesses. Most don't make it. And we want so desperately to make it. We want to succeed and we're willing to do whatever we can, including blurring that work-life balance. And so we, we like take our phone with us when we're going out to eat with us our spouse in case there's some business that might come through or we bring our laptop with us to a to a soccer game in case we can get some work done and we're working away and miss someone scoring a goal we want to be able to take that with us but we blur the lines and we sometimes cheat ourselves out of opportunity because we either can't bring it with us or, or we, we lose out on the life part so lesson six is you got to be able to take your business with you, but you've also got to be able to have the boundaries. So there are two aspects of this. First of all, know where the boundaries. And then second of all, you've got to be able to have the power to take everything with you so that you can do business on the go so that you can increase your chances of being successful. So another way to win more business, you've got to have a dedicated business phone line. A dedicated business phone line is a new phone number that you're going to get that will ring through to your cell phone, but it's going to be a different phone number. So you don't give people, don't ever give people your, your personal cell phone anymore for your business. You're going to get a dedicated business phone line. You're going to give that to them. It's going to ring through to your cell phone. So it's almost like you gave them your cell phone, but instead you have a little uh, work life balance. You can separate. You can have a different voicemail on one as you do on the other. You can snooze one and, you can, and not the other, but you've got to be able to get a business, a dedicated business phone line that, that you can give out. I, I met someone once, two people recently who did not put their phone number on their business card. I'm like, why? And one was a woman. She said, I don't want to give men my phone number. Have them call me. Like, I'm sorry you have to struggle with that, but you have got to give people your phone number. So you solve that with getting a dedicated business line. This is how super easy this is. You log into the Keep app. There's a little green K there on your phone. You just click on the green K. That pulls up an option for you to enter your area code. In this case, we entered 480. Whatever area code you want. You type in 480. It gives you a whole bunch of phone numbers to choose from. You just pick one. Just break that, break, that's your new number. That's your number. You can put it on your website, on your business cards, on the side of your minivan, do whatever you want with it. That's your new dedicated business line. So when someone says, what's your number? You give out this number and not your cell phone. It'll still ring through your cell. This is way more professional as well. This, this looks like you're a legitimate business and you're giving out a business phone number which is what it is. Somebody calls into that, or maybe you're texting out. This is how simple this is. Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna love this part. So it says, hey, let's meet. Underneath where it says, hey, let's meet, you can see there's a camera there. There's a picture that looks like a little mountaintop. And there's looks like a, an old fashioned, like a, a desktop calendar, one of those old calendar kind of things. You just click that button of the calendar. Do you remember when we set up the calendar link a little while ago, we were talking about how easy it is to set up a calendar link? It sends your calendar link out to someone. So now they have access to your calendar. They can go through and pick time. So I'm trying to meet with Michael. I literally, maybe I take the picture of the business card. I 
click the button for the calendar. Michael gets my calendar link. He books time and I get a notification on my phone saying, hey, Michael, just book some time with you. That's how simple that is. I even can then get into my CRM, pull up Michael's contact record. I want to make a little note in there saying, hey, Michael, book time with me. Great. So I can put a little note in there. It's all there. Okay. That, that was how simple that was to book time through, through your phone, getting a phone number, a dedicated business line, and then putting it to use. How long did that take to book time with someone or let someone book time on your calendar? Literally like 30 seconds. Take a picture of the card, push the button, boom, boom, boom. You get a notification. Great. Okay, I'm going to show you how the whole mobile app works because the mobile app is so powerful. And now you're going to be able to take this with you so you have the power in your hand or in your pocket or in your purse wherever you're going to keep your phone, you have that power. You can do all these things we talked about. You log in. Here's your C. I have access to seeing whatever that is. Then you can pull up a contact record. This is the contact record for Bobby. A little while ago, we took the picture of Bobby's business card. Remember, we took the picture. We snapped the picture. It created Bobby's contact record. So inside the phone now, I pull up Bobby. Inside of my CRM tool, I pull up, and now I can see all the texts I sent back and forth with Bobby, because it tracks all that. It, it syncs it all together, it integrates it. Maybe I call Bobby, says no answer, left voicemail. So I'm making a note. So now I think, oh, I thought I called Bobby. What was the latest on that? I can now look up, I pull up Bobby's contact record and I say, oh, look right there, Bobby, no answer, left voicemail. Oh, that's right, I was supposed to, I'm supposed to call Bobby. So then I can even get in and I can create a task. So the task is call Bobby back. So not only does it keep track of the things that have happened, like missed calls or information, but now it keeps track of what I need to do calling Bobby back. So I pull up my tasks. It reminds me, call Bobby back. Maybe you get a new number. The software can recognize it. Hey, it's a new number. You want to add them to your contacts? Uh, yes, of course I want to add them to my contacts. Okay, let's push the button. Yes, we're going to do that. Which shelf are you going to put them on? Are they a lead? Are they a client? Oh, they're going to be a lead. So we'll, we'll categorize them as a lead. Click the lead button and instantly a contact record has been created. Now I want to send them my information so they can follow up with me. So look at the bottom of the screen. You can see there's the camera. There's a little picture of the mountain. There's the calendar. Remember, we just used the calendar. We, we would push that to send the calendar link out. The next one that's appeared now is a little business card icon. All you do is push the business card icon and it creates your contact information to send to them. So you just push that and say, Hey, it's down. Here's my contact information. So now they've got your information. So this will be how the conversation would go. I push the business card icon first, sends them my, my, my contact information. Right after that, underneath that is the calendar link. I push the calendar button. I send them the calendar link. Then I can send them a photo or a file or documents, whatever I want is all there that I can send out to someone. Merely by pushing this, 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 this. Send the calendar, send contact information, send photo, whatever it might be. That's how simple it is to win more business. And you now have it in your hand. You can do it when you need to. Have, have someone drive and you're on the phone on the way to the restaurant, boom, 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 boom. By the time you arrive, you've already lined up some information and people have booked time with you. Maybe somebody calls you. This one, another one of my favorites. Uh, these are missed calls. And so at the bottom, you can see Brad calls and I wasn't able to get to Brad's call. I said, hey, let's get lunch next week. That's a voicemail. Keep transcribes the voicemail and attaches it to the contact record. So if I pull up Brad, I can see everything that's happened with Brad, including missed voicemail that's on there. You can send this from your laptop. You can send it from your phone. You can send texts. You can send emails. You can do all of that. Now you literally can take your business with you, but you can still have that work-life balance. Okay. Next struggle that people have. People want to buy, but your website is a distraction. I can hear you right now. You're saying, my website is not a distraction. I got a great website. I got a bunch of, bunch of great stuff on my website. I got cool videos and I got uh, people talking about how great I am. And I have my books and my course and my coaching and, and my history and about me. I got great stuff on my website. I don't know if you're seeing what I'm saying. You've got a lot of stuff on your website. And that's kind of a distraction. There's more stuff on there that, need, that needs to be for someone to buy. If someone wants to buy, you don't want to distract them. It's like going to a mall, a big fancy mall, and they got all these window displays and mannequins and someone playing the piano. 
and someone offering you a hickory farm smoked cheddar on a toothpick and you walk through and you look at it all and you get your little cheddar sample and you walk out and you drive home. That's what your website can be. So much cool stuff, but there's no place to buy. You've got to drive people to the cash register. The website's great to capture them. The website's great to give you credibility. Everybody needs a website, but you need a cash register. Don't let them wander through the mall and get distracted. Get them to a cash register. So lesson number seven is that websites are pretty. The mall is pretty, but landing pages are profitable. Landing pages are where it is at. So the new way to win more business, the next one, you gotta have landing pages. Landing pages are the new website. There are people I know who don't have websites and merely build their business on landing pages. Landing pages are an action taking page. There is one thing to do, one singular call to action and people do whatever the action is when they go to a landing page. Websites are good, but let them go to the cash register. I don't know if any of you have you built landing pages. Let me quickly, briefly, uh, a landing page is a single page one single thing to do. Maybe there's even like a buy now or a sign up now or something, a button like that. So your tips for you, by the way, a landing page is not where they land on your website. That's your home page. A landing page is separate from that. It's an action taking page. So they will come to your website, drive them to the landing page. Your landing pages need to make sure that they are mobile friendly because most people will be viewing them on a phone and not on a laptop. You need to make sure that your landing pages are clear and concise. Don't try to be cute or clever. One thing to do, drive them to that. You're going to have that buy now button or take action now, whatever that might be. Put that on as many places as you need. A little bit of text, take action now button. A little more text, take action now button. A little more text, take action now. Have that on there as many times as you need. You can have that, some people call it a squeeze page or a sales page or a landing page or an action page. You're going to have it be as long as you want. People can keep scrolling through there all day long, but keep having those action buttons where they can push to take action to buy, to sign, to sell, to not sell, but whatever, to do something that where they're going to take action. That's the beauty of a landing page. For example, the Omara Strategy Group, they let people sign up for their mailing list through an action page through a, a, a landing page. Uh, Chris teaches people about real estate investing. This is his website. People come to the website. He teaches them about this webinar. It's like his evergreen uh, lead magnet kind of thing. If you want information on the webinar, he drives you to a landing page, to an action page. So get people off the website to the landing page as quickly as you can. Brian and Greg, a couple of friends of mine, they started a video course teaching people how to use Keep software. So they have a website where people can learn about it. We've got 30 videos, we walk you through stuff. It's great, it's really, it's a great resource, by the way. So they've got 30 videos there. Then you go, are you ready? Here's the landing page where someone can go to. They just take you off of the website to the landing page where you find out specific things about the course. You wanna buy it? Here you go, check out. Give us the payment information, pay for it. Hey, email goes right out, check your inbox. There's an email coming out to you. You get the email that says, thanks for buying. Here's your course, click on the button. You click on the button and you jump in and start to take the course. All of that action was triggered by a landing page from the website to the landing page where people can buy and move forward. People buy in this course all day long and it all starts from a landing page. So landing pages are another way to win more business. A, a friend of mine was, uh, was in, I met him at an event and he said, oh, I, uh, I, I, I love building landing pages. He, build, he makes these bobblehead business cards. And so he has, that was the website, he has a landing page where you can find out information if you need a mascot for your business and then you sign up for the marketing mascot, marketing development checklist through a landing page. He's like, I, this landing page took me about 30 minutes to build. And this one took me about 20 minutes to build. I love building landing pages. You can build as many landing pages as you want. Landing pages are free when you use the Keep Landing Page Builder tool. There are a bunch of templates. You drag and drop, pick a template, drag and drop icons and photos and whatever, and you just create a landing page. So customize, another tip for you, customize your landing page. Even if you're offering the same thing, you can have a different landing page for this group of people, because you're segmenting your list, remember from earlier, this group of people can be directed to this landing page. Even something as simple as like people over the age of 50 or under the age of 50 or men versus women or different places where they might live. They can get this landing page, they can get this landing page because you can build them all day long. Boom, 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 just bang those things out. Landing pages are the new key to help you grow. Okay, another struggle I found from people, taking money shouldn't be hard. 
Sometimes we make it hard. Sometimes it's hard for us. Before I started working for Infusionsoft and keep, I did a lot of coaching and consulting and speaking. I hated it when somebody said, okay, can you send me a, an invoice? I, I didn't have any systems set up. And I would literally sometimes go months before I would send them an invoice so they could send me money. They were happy to send me money. I just hated trying to get them get an invoice. So lesson number eight, this is something we have found from studies. The sooner you invoice, the faster you're going to get paid. It, when someone owes you money, the reason they don't pay you sooner is the single biggest reason is you haven't gotten them an invoice. It doesn't matter what the amount is. It doesn't matter the payment terms. The single biggest factor is getting them an invoice as fast as possible. The sooner you do that, the sooner they will pay. The sooner you pay, they pay you. The sooner you get some money in your account to go do something fun with. So you've got to be able to, this is another way to win more business. You've got to have an easy, simple way to build quotes and invoices. It shouldn't be a problem and a struggle for you. Oh, I got to go online. I got to find some resource to be able to build a quote or an invoice, which, which it was for me. I totally get that. And I hated it. But this is how easy it could be inside of Keep. You create a quote just with a couple of clicks, fill in some blanks. It creates a quote. To work with me costs 19 bucks, whatever it might be. Then you click a button, that turns it into an email. You email somebody the quote. And then you have a little timeline. You can see all the things on the timeline. Here's the money that's coming into me. Here's the money I've sent quotes out for. If all these people accept this, look at all the money that I could be having coming in. So it's a little motivational tool. So then someone says, okay, let's do some business together. You wanna to create an invoice. So once again, simple like creating the quote. You create the invoice, upload your logo so it looks like it's totally personalized. Push the button so it turns it into an, e an email. So you now email someone the invoice. This is what I used to struggle with and now you can do it in a matter of seconds. Just create the invoice, send it to someone. And then once again, there's your timeline. So you can see here's the, like my pipeline of, of money that's coming in. Here are my outstanding invoices. Here are the ones that have been paid. So I can track all that and see the money that, that I could be getting. This is how easy and simple this should be. This is a way to win more business, simply by having a simple, easy tool that's gonna to allow you to send out quotes and invoices quickly and easily. If you don't have it, you're wasting your time and you're not making as much money. By the way, we integrate seamlessly with QuickBooks, QuickBooks Online. We, we integrate with like hundreds of different programs. QuickBooks is the one there on the left of your screen. Some of this is done with Zapier. Uh, to, to hook different programs together. But some of these, like the QuickBooks integration, is a native integration. For example, if you were in Keep and you took a payment from Herald, then you would then, if you logged out and logged into QuickBooks, the payment from Herald is there. So it eliminates the problems for double manual double entry. They're going to work together to save you time. Okay. I think this is the ninth struggle. Most of us give up before we get the deal. That's painful to hear because you, you never know. You've, you've seen that analogy where someone's like digging for gold in the backyard and not in the backyard, wherever they're digging, and they stop just short of where the gold is. That's how we are. That's it. We, we work as hard as we can and then we just figure, let me move on. I spent too much time there. Let me go try to find something else. I don't know how many touches it takes to get a deal. It used to be like seven and someone said it was like 11 and like 20 some odd. Now we're bombarded so much. I don't know how many touches it takes before someone might say yes. And the challenge is most of us give up before we get to that point because it just seems like it's, it's futile and we, keep, we get tired of doing that. So lesson number nine, repetition makes champions. You gotta keep asking. You gotta keep at it. I don't, I don't care how many times it takes to ask You've got to keep repeating. That's how, how Olympic champions <clears throat> become Olympic champions or piano virtuosos become it. My, my son just started a little band over the last little quarantine time. They get together and practice all the time because they want to get good. They want to get successful. You've got to do things over and over again. The beautiful thing is, is if you automate, it makes it easier. Automation, automated repetition makes for rich champions. So, your ninth way to win is have automated campaigns, have automated sequences, funnels, campaigns, whatever you want to call it, have automation do the work for you. That, that repetition makes champions is true, but you can automate the repetition so you don't have to do it every day. You're not calling people and asking for the deal and doing that stuff. Your automation does that for you so you don't have to worry about that. I, now, I know I mentioned the word funnel and automation and sequence. Some people will start getting a little bit nervous. <clears throat> they think, oh, oh, the funnels, funnels make me nervous. 
a lot of people will make you scared of funnels. Those are often the kind of people who want you to pay them money to build funnels. Those people are normally amazing and do amazing work, but you can build funnels on your own. You can build sequences on your own. Let me demystify what a funnel is. In my mind, let me break down a funnel. I think it is simply a set of directions to get from one place to another. I got a big jug of vinegar here. I want to pour it in a fancy bottle. I'm going to use a funnel to get it there. I want to get something from here to here. A funnel helps it get there. Um, if even anytime you might use GPS directions, guess what? That's sort of like a funnel. It's helping you get from this point to this point. I'm following the directions. I'm just going to take a turn. My daughter was uh, getting off of work at night, a bunch of freeways in a new part of town, and she got lost. And she called me. I'm like, that's okay. Where are you now? She's like, oh, there's a Target, there's a Walmart. I'm like, okay, I know where you are. Just take the next exit, take a right, go four blocks, take a left, whatever it might be. And, and she got home safely. That's what you want to do with your funnels and your sequence and your automation. You want to get people to where they need to get safely. You can help them. You can solve some of their problems. And you want to help them safely. So you just, you say, well, what happens if they don't, if they don't read the email? What happens if they don't do what I'm telling you to do? That's why you automate it. Because then the automation can see, oh, they didn't read that email. Let's, let's remind them, hey, there's this email you didn't get to read. Or you didn't take a right turn here. So come on back and take the right turn. That's what the automation does. You don't get scared from following GPS directions. You won't get scared from building funnels and doing what you're supposed to do. Let me show you how it might work. This is Joe. Joe is a retired rocket scientist. And for, in this case, Joe decided he wanted to make money through automation because he has a contraption. This is actually a physical product. It's a back stretching thing that helps you stretch out your back and alleviate back pain. So regardless of what you have, if you have a physical product or a digital product or a coaching or whatever it is that you're selling or you're doing business for, I want you to insert that in place of what Joe's back stretching machine is. So we're going to show you how he sets this up. So, and then you just insert whatever you're doing there instead. So for Joe, he says, okay, I got this back stretching contraption thing. I'm going to sell it through Facebook. He takes out an ad on Facebook. Hey, I've got a book telling you how to alleviate your back pain. So someone clicks on that because they have back pain. They want to alleviate the back pain. And so now this kicks off the funnel. All starts when someone pushes that. This is the campaign. This is the funnel. The, the most important things here after the tag that says back pain be gone, ebook delivery. Delivering the ebook to someone, skip over the area, nurture to purchase the back stretcher. So we're going to deliver the ebook and then we're going to nurture them to buy the back stretcher. Let me jump into that delivering the ebook. This is what that looks like. It starts. Someone fills out a form saying, I want the ebook. Puts a tag on them, a little post-it note saying they requested that, and the first email goes out saying, hey, thanks for requesting the book. Let's help alleviate your back pain. Then timer goes. Next day, another email. Hey, have you downloaded that book yet? There's some great information on there to help you so you don't have any back pain anymore. Timer goes by. Next email. Chapter four has some great information about what causes back pain and how you can wake up pain-free, whatever it might be. Timer, email, timer, email, timer. Whatever it is, whether it's every day, every week, whatever you set that up as, you create that. And that's the automation that just goes out. Repetition makes champions, remember? And so he's just repeating that so that someone finally says, oh, I'm going to download that book finally. They download the book. He says, hey, thanks. It sends them an email. Thanks for downloading the book. Here's some information. And then you can always buy the back stretcher. Then it jumps to the next part of the automation, which was nurturing them to buy the back stretcher. And guess what that is? Email timer, email timer, email timer. Just reminding people, buy the back stretcher, buy the back stretcher, buy the back stretcher. Repetition makes champions. Automation in your repetition makes rich champions. Pretty soon someone buys the back stretcher. They get an email saying, thanks for buying the back stretcher. Join our Facebook group. Let's do amazing stuff. That's what a funnel looks like. That's what automation looks like. Simply Joe putting his arm around someone and saying, I want to help you get out of pain. Let me help you. Okay, the last struggle. The last struggle that I see people struggling the most with is you're doing too many things with too many things. How many different programs do you have? How many different tools do you have? How many things are you trying to do manually on your own with your sticky notes and your spreadsheets and your logging into this program? You have what I call login-itis. You're logging in and out of programs all day long, trying to get programs to communicate with each other. It doesn't work. Lesson number 10 is that all in one place 
beats all over the place. Instead of being all over the place, I got this and that, I'm struggling doing all these things. Did it all in one place instead. This is a Radio Shack ad from, I think, like 1991. All sorts of great stuff on that. There's like a, a computer and a phone and a video camera and a telephone and a recorder and a calculator, and a bunch of stuff. And guess what? Everything on there is now on your phone. All of the tools there are on your phone. All in one place, your phone. A radio shack struggles and everybody has a phone in their pocket because all in one place beats all over the place. This, this is your business though. This is you trying to build a birdhouse with a bunch of mismatched tools. It doesn't work. So instead, imagine having all the tools you need, like 32 blades and a Swiss army knife in the hands of a robot because it's automated and it's sitting on a pile of cash. This is what we want to help you do. All the tools that I have talked about all in one place that you can automate so the robot does the work for you. So you don't have to worry about that. That's what Keep is all about. That's what we want to help you do. People like Damon John know that from Shark Tank. First question he asks people is he says, do you have Keep or are you gonna get it? Cause that's how I know you're serious. Dave Ramsey, Tony Robbins, Jack Canfield, all use Keep products. I love this entire event with all these other speakers because she runs this whole thing. This whole event is run with so much with automation from Keep. And many of the speakers that you're going to be seeing and listening to, guess what they use? They use Keep products to be able to be successful on their own. I was just looking at some of my favorite people. Della Toro. I love Della Toro. He's one of our partners. Zenobia. She, she does nothing but teach people how to use the automation to run their business. Eric Swanson. We've been to his events. Arby Robinson. She teaches people how to be more successful on stages and use Keep to do that. Cheryl Wood, one of my favorites. I've been to her event several times and, and, and she does amazing things with Keep. Kern Sherry and of course Shay himself all use keep and, and many of the other people I, I don't even know all the people that do these are just some of my best friends that i like they all use this to be successful in their business you are joining the elite by using the tools that they use instead of doing this you have grasshopper for your phone scheduled ones for your calendar and constant contact zoho crm you got to click funnels and lead pages to build your landing pages and automation and none of those programs talk to each other instead Get them all together in one place and automate this thing. Okay, there are three different levels of Infusionsoft or Keep. So let me walk you through that. Infusionsoft still exists. I don't think Infusionsoft is the right tool for any of you. So I really think a better tool for all of you is Keep Pro. That includes everything I've talked about today, including the automation, the landing pages and the automated campaigns. If you don't need the automation, Keep Grow could be a good resource for you. But I really think Keep Pro is the better tool for most of you. That's really where you start to see the benefit from this and, and start to let the automation kick in. So there's different price points depending on which level you are. Keep Pro, if you go on our website, you can see Keep Pro is $149 a month. Keep Grow is $79 a month. But that's where all, that, now the good news, now the really good news starts. Every time I'm showing you a picture now from now on, it's going to be good news and it's going to get better and better. You're going to be hooping and hollering wherever you are. First of all, none of you have to pay retail. None of you do because Shay is one of our partners, because we value him and we want to get the best deal we can for his people. So now, guess what? You only have to pay 99 bucks for Keep Pro, under 100 bucks for all the things that I talked about. If you're getting those things individually, I guarantee you they're costing you more than 99 bucks. You're getting them all together in one place, in one tool for $99. And, and don't worry, this isn't like someone's going to come and say, okay, we're going to raise the price on you. You get grandfathered in for the discount pricing. This would be the order form we would have. And we would show you comes with one user and 500 contacts. And you get some onboarding coaching to get you going. But remember, I told you, everything's good from here on out. So you ready? Let me walk you through this. You're getting grandfathered in for discounted pricing. 99 bucks a month. We'll not go up from that. You're getting under 100 bucks for all the tools that I talked about. We're going to five times your account size for you for free. So if your database goes from 500 to 2,500. I don't care if you need that right now. You'll need it at some point, And then you'll be glad I'm saving you the money. Because that would normally cost you like an extra 50 bucks every month. I'm going to get you an additional user. Do you have a virtual assistant? Do you have a partner? And maybe you don't right now, but you want to at some point, you're now going to have an additional user license. That would normally cost you 30 bucks every month. I don't care if you need it now. You'll need it at some point, And then you'll be glad you have it now. 
We'll help you migrate your campaigns. If you have something built somewhere, we'll help you with that migration. And the first three months are 50% off. So you're really only paying 49 bucks a month for the first three months before it goes to the grandfather discount of 99. 49 bucks. You're paying less than 50 bucks to be able to get all the tools I've talked to you about to hyper speed your business and get you more time and get you more results. We also wanna make sure that you know how to use it because we've got the best coaching resources ever. I'm gonna buy you the video course that Brian and Greg put together. You'll have access to those videos for six months. We also hired an outside company called Success Engine to coach you through stuff, teach you how to build stuff and to build stuff for you. They are literally going to sit down with you four one hour personalized coaching sessions, you and your coach on one on one. They're gonna basically say, what do you struggle with of those 10 different things we talked about? And let's solve that. Let's have better tools to help you capture more leads. Let's build your list. Let's follow up with those people. Let's build your calendar links. Let's set up your dedicated business line. Let's build some landing pages. Let's build some automated campaigns. Let's get this stuff going. You get four hours with them. And then they're going to follow up with you. You'll be partnered with someone who will check in with you from time to time, making sure you're set. They also, we have just started this. This is the best part. They've just started a new webinar. They're going to do a kickoff webinar this coming Tuesday at two o'clock. So you want to jump on this. This is not an evergreen offer. I, I, I'm not sure exactly how long everything I'm going to be talking to is available, but you want to jump on it so that you can take advantage of this webinar on Tuesday at two o'clock Eastern. You're going to jump on that. It's like a booster call. It's an extra session. They're going to make sure you know how to log in, enter your contacts, do all that kind of stuff. Okay. The webinar, the four personalized coaching hours, all that, all the coaching and training. Guess what the cost of that is? You ready? It's free. It is stinking free. I'm not charging you a penny for any of that. Keep is still paying them to coach you. So we're, we're out a lot of money. We're buying the video course. We're paying them to do coaching for four individual hours. And you don't have to pay anything. You literally are getting all that for free. I promise you, all those people that I told you about that use Keep, all the other speakers, they paid hundreds or thousands of dollars for their coaching and training. And you are getting it for absolute free. And we don't even ask you to sign a contract. There's no long-term contract involved here. There is nothing you need to worry about. We're, we're asking for a commitment from you. We want you to commit to use this, to get in your business and to do this and make this a tool that's going to build your business and make it work. But you don't have to worry about the risk of any money because you get the lowest cost ever, 49 bucks for your first three months and then grandfather price. You don't have to worry about the time involved to learn it because we got the best coaches for you with the video course and the personalized coaching. And you don't have to worry about the risk of some kind of long-term commitment. There is nothing. There is no contract that is required. All you have to do is go to keepnow.com forward slash Shea Brown. That's how you can take advantage of this. Keep, keep it spelled differently. Sort of spelled like keep everything all in one place. K-E-A-P. Keepnow.com forward slash Shea Brown screen grab that take a picture of it write it down grab your phone take a picture of that i'll show it to you in a second again let me walk you through the, the whole deal so you can understand what a screaming phenomenal deal literally we have we have never done everything that we're offering for you okay you're getting 2,000 extra bonus contacts 2,500 total in the database you're getting an extra user you get two users you're going to get free onboarding and coaching you're four by the way it says three at one-on-one -on -one sessions i'm giving you an extra fourth call that you're going to get four hours with them for free no contract required at all and your first three months are 50 percent off 49 bucks that's all you're signing up for when you go to keepnow.com forward slash shea brown you click on that link guess what it takes you to this page right here this is what you will see entering your information and guess where you sign you don't because you don't have to sign anything. Remember, there's no, there's no contract required. It outlines you're going to get 2,000 extra contacts. You're going to get an extra user. You're getting 50% off for your first three months. This is the most magical page you will ever see on the internet all day long, maybe all month long. This is the page. This is the gateway for you to get to success. You just click on that. This is how simple it is. That's the page. Your new best friend right there. Keepnow.com forward slash Shea Brown. When you go there, you'll just click to sign up. You'll get an email from us. It'll give you your login information. It'll tell you how you can sign up for your first coaching call. It'll tell you how you can sign up for your, uh, your kickoff webinar on Tuesday. It'll tell you how you can access the video course. You'll get all the information and you will be off and running. All those struggles that I went through, all those 10 challenges, I don't know how many of you struggle with, say goodbye to them. 
because this is the start of something amazing. This is the start of your success. This is the start of you growing your business and making more money. If you have any questions that you need to reach out to me, there's my phone number, there's my email address, you can reach out to me. But the most important thing on that screen right there is that link at the top, keepnow.com forward slash Shea Brown. I hope you know how to spell Shea Brown. It's easy, C-H-E, Brown. Click on that. That is how you get to a better place. That is how you get successful. That's how you start making more money. That's how you start doing the things that you were passionate about doing all along and not struggling with all the things that I talked about, growing your list and collecting money and staying in touch with people and nurturing people and trying to figure out what people are doing. Let Keep do that. And you do the things that only you can do in being successful. If you have any questions, reach out to me. But remember, keepnow.com forward slash Shea Brown. This, this is not an evergreen offer. This is not going to be available forever. I don't know exactly how long it will be up, but I would encourage you to go as soon as possible so you can take advantage of the webinar on Tuesday and make sure you can get all the bonuses that we've talked about. We have never offered all of these things all in one place, all in one offer. And I want to make sure that you can take advantage of all those things. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help you. Otherwise, we welcome you to the Keep family and looking forward to seeing all the success that you'll have.